Here's how I set up a computer I just finished building. First, I get my mouse and keyboard out, plug those in. Then I grab my HDMI cable, get that plugged in, making sure it's plugged into the GPU. Then I gotta plug it into my monitor over here. Then I power up the PC. Ooh, look how pretty it is. Next, I'm gonna need this flash drive. I'm gonna put the newest BIOS for that motherboard on it. There's the newest BIOS from the website on the motherboard. We're gonna download that. Then I just copy the files to my hard drive and back to the other computer. And we're gonna put it into that BIOS slot on the computer. And the first time we set it up, you just gotta click F1 and that's gonna kick us right into the BIOS. This is an ASUS motherboard. So we're gonna click F7, move over to the tool tab and click the ASUS Easy Flash Utility. There's our storage device. My flash drive is the only storage device with anything on it. And here is the new BIOS file. We're gonna click yes, click yes again, and yes one more time and it's gonna begin updating the BIOS. All right, now that, we're, now that our BIOS is complete, we're gonna have to set it up as if it's a new computer. So we're gonna click F1, go back into the BIOS. And now all we're going to do is go into our fan control and we're gonna make sure all of our fans are set up for PWM mode. Then we can exit out of there. We'll make sure resize bar is turned on, it is. And we're gonna click F10 and enter. And that's going to save all those settings we just changed. Oh, I almost forgot we got a DOCP our RAM. So we'll enable that. That's gonna make sure our RAM is running at its advertised speed of CL32-6400. We'll do F10 and enter one more time. All right, once we've verified that everything is still running like it's supposed to, we're gonna install Windows. This is my Windows boot drive. I'm gonna stick it on the motherboard and go anywhere. And then we'll restart Windows and it should go right into the boot sequence. All right, there's our Windows boot screen. Let's start going. Select I don't have a product key because we'll get that later. I'm gonna accept the terms and conditions. Make sure we install it on our one terabyte main drive and we'll let it install and we'll come back for part two for all the things that we're gonna do inside of Windows.